Okay, so wrap me up in love. So Rebecca, I'm going to need you again. Okay, so this one, and if you could sit there. I had an idea. How do I help these children feel felt? Because that's a big piece of it. They're so numb to experience with another person that they need a lot of sensory tools so that they can feel connected and start feeling their bodies and feel love from another person. So what we do is I call this wrap me up in love. And the child literally gets wrapped up in toilet paper <laughs> into a little mummy. And the parent does the wrapping. And I'll show you how that's done. So first I ask the child, who wants to be wrapped? Do you want to be wrapped? We're going to wrap each other up like mummies today. Some kids don't want it. They're a little scared. So I have the parent do it first. And then it models for them that they can do it. And so the parent wraps the child up and they start at the bottom and they're making eye contact with the child and always checking in and saying, how do you feel? Do you feel okay? Is it too tight? Do we want it to be looser? And the parent starts and, and if they're working on the legs, I ask the parents to say, can you say something about your child's legs? And the parent may say, your, parent, your legs work really hard every day because I know you go to school every day and sometimes you fall and get boo-boos. I'm going to give those legs a lot of love. So as we're moving throughout the child's body, we're addressing these hands need a lot of love and attention because they're working hard at school. They sometimes, and your hands are learning how to let out those feelings by drawing them every day and learning not to hit when we have feelings. Those hands are working really hard. Let's give them a lot of love. And then when we get to the heart, does your heart need a lot of love? I'm here to give your love heart. So whatever the parent is feeling organically or naturally, they express to the child at that moment. And always checking in. How are you feeling? Does it feel good? Is it too much or you want more? You will be surprised what kids say. Do you want more or less? Are you okay with all this love? Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Kind of. Is it feeling a little overwhelming? Kind of. Okay. Well, I'll give a little bit more here because I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by my love. I want you to feel good and safe in my love so that it doesn't scare you. Now, do you want your head wrapped with love or no? Okay. So you're always respecting the child's wishes, desires, following their lead. So when the child's wrapped up, and I've had some kids, you missed a spot. <laughs> oh, we missed a spot. That spot needs more love. Really interesting with these kids. What they, what they ask for or what they don't want. How are you feeling with all that love? This feels okay. Because you are wrapped in the biggest love ever from your mom and your dad. Are you thirsty? because you're the queen of this love. Are you thirsty? What I'm going to do is now pamper them. Are you hungry? Help them feel safe, feel good, feel nurtured. What is love? Nurture. This food is nurturing. So I'll have a sippy drink. I'll have little cookie crackers and letting them feel safe in here, that it's OK to feel love again. I have had kids come in my office and go, I want to be wrapped up again. <laughs> it's amazing. They want it over and over and over. And I'll say to parents, you can do this. All of these exercises, we don't just do once. You could do repeatedly. So the child feels that connection, builds that attachment. Work, the parent works on bonding. This is also a, an, 
a, a tool for parents to bond with the child and the child to attach to the parent. So in the end, when the child, when we're all done, how does it feel in there? Do you feel the warmth? Is it war warm in there? Good, yeah. Oh, good. So you're, you're excited about this. Do you, do you want to stay there? Interesting. Some kids stay. Some kids, like she was saying, feel overwhelmed. They want to get out. We want to follow their lead. Okay, are you, are you ready to jump out? Okay, we'll count. One, two, three. Yay! Okay, now that's the little kid. I've done this with 12-year-olds. 14, 15, probably not. I don't, haven't been successful with that. But even 13, because you'll know, developmentally, these kids aren't really 14. They're developmentally three or four or five. So sometimes they want this. Now, when the child um, tears, breaks free of this love, we don't throw this in the garbage. As you can see, I am so detailed because I'm letting them know everything we do here matters. This, I'm valuing this. This is love. I have parents take this home. I go, oh, sometimes we have a lot. I go, whoa, look at all this love. You're so lucky. Look at all this love. We put it in something. I have sometimes parents say, the mom says, I'm going to keep some in my purse. I'm going to keep some of this love in my purse. I've had kids say, I want to put some in my anger bag. I want to keep some, which is great. So we're not throwing this away like the papers to rip. We're holding on to this love. This matters. It's important. So thank you very much, yeah. Rebecca. Now, my qu a question yes. is if, like, say the child wants to do this for the parent. So, you know, to express their love to the parent. Yes. So um, have you done that? Yes. Where a child says it's hard for them, mm -hmm. but their action speaks louder than yeah. words because they're doing it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're witnessing that, you could say, wow, look at all that love you have for your mom yeah. or your dad. Wow, you have such a big heart. Do you feel Jimmy's love? Do you feel her love? Mom, how does it feel to be loved by so-and-so? So you're processing this if the child's not able to put words to it, but they're doing it, which is fantastic. And I have had experience where a lot of kids do want to wrap up their parents. And it's fun, and we're connecting, and they're making eye contact. They're talking. They're communicating. It's great. Okay. Sometimes I have bows and stickers to put on the wrapping on the toilet paper to make it fun. When toilet paper rips, I make a big point to say, oh, let's reconnect that love. That love we can't let that love get away. So I'll have tape, I'll have stickers. Let's connect it back. And then I talk about, can love really just disappear? Can you just cut love? Can it just go away? Love is always there. There's always love. Letting them know that you can't cut it, it can't go away. A person can go away, but your love for them cannot go away. So helping them understand there's continuity in relationship and the people we feel connected to.